Hi guys, my name is Johnny and I'm going to be talking about Decentraland games today and doing a tutorial on how you can mint your NFT on the Matic network. Now before I continue, nothing I say here is financial advice, it is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So without further ado, let's get started. So as we look at the website at decentral.games slash blog, we go to the latest announcement that they are doing their NFT drop number five. Now, this one in particular, they are going to require that you have 8,000 ice and you also have to have 1,000 X DG or staked DG across the ETH mainnet or the Polygon network or one old DG. So this might be a little confusing and this tutorial is going to kind of walk you through each step of the way and some of the challenges that you might experience doing this to get you as best prepared as possible for the mint. So the first thing that we wanna do is get a MetaMask wallet. And how to do that, we are going to head over to metamask.io. You're gonna to go to download and you're going to download this for Chrome or whichever device that you wanna use it for. I do recommend using it for Chrome. And once we have that installed, your MetaMask should look something like this, but we need to take an extra step and we need to add the Polygon network. And how you're going to do that is you're going to head over to your settings. You're going to scroll down to your networks and then you're going to hit add network and then you're going to type in these values here. I will also include a link of where you can get this information directly from Polygon so that we, you have that. And the reason why they're moving this thing over is because the Ethereum fees are just really expensive right now and I think this is a great move. Now, once you've added the network on here, what you're going to do is you're going to wanna to switch over to the Polygon mainnet. And once you're on the Polygon mainnet, you're going to want to add the tokens that we're going to be interacting with. And I think adding them in here makes it a lot easier for you to track. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to get the DG tokens on here. So I headed over to CoinMarketCap and down here under contracts, under more, I am copying the address here. I'm going over to my MetaMask and then going to assets import tokens, and then I'm going to paste the custom contract here and show up. Add custom token, import. And then I'm also going to add the staked tokens. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this so that way it's easier for us to kind of track and figure out what's going on. So I'm also going to add that. Paste. And let's not forget that we also do need to get ice. So I'm going to also get Decentral Ice and that's on Polygon. Over to Import Tokens and I'm going to paste that. So you see that I have the balances in here but I'm still going to walk you through the entire process together. So now that we have all of the assets that we need, the next thing that we're going to do is we need to get some tokens, whether it is Matic, USDC, whatever it is, onto the Polygon mainnet. So I personally recommend going to crypto.com and using their service versus Coinbase if you're out in the States. And the reason for that is the high bridging fees. Now, if you are one that has assets already on the Ethereum mainnet, and you wanna transfer some ETH or wrapped ETH or your DG over to the Matic network, you're going to have to use a bridge. So there is a bridge that Polygon has, and I'll give you an example of what this will look like. So let's say for example, you have some ether on the Ethereum chain that you wanna move over to Matic that you wanna eventually convert to ICE or DG. So for example, I'm going to want to transfer, um, some Ethereum to the Polygon main chain. And when I hit transfer, the fees are super high. It is $78 just to move it. And again, this is one of the big reasons why a lot of projects are moving away from Ethereum is because of costs like this. Now, not all hope is lost. There is another service called Umbria. And so Umbria is a lot cheaper. So same thing, you know, you can connect your wallet, you know, put in how much ETH 
that you like to transfer or whatever assets you like to transfer here. And then you're gonna hit send by MetaMask. And then the fees are 0 0.002, which is about like seven or eight dollars. So it is a fraction of using the Polygon bridge. So that's what I would recommend. So after this step, you should have whatever assets you need on the Polygon mainnet at this point, whether it is Matic, Wrapped Ether, USDC, doesn't really matter. The whole point is to get your assets onto the Polygon mainnet here and you should see whatever assets that you have. So if, again, if it's USDC, you know, make sure you import the tokens for that or Matic, what have you. Now, before we continue, it's also important that because we are on the Polygon mainnet to have at least one Matic at all times, just for fees. You're not gonna be using anywhere near that much, but it's also really nice to have that. Now, if you don't have Matic, the cool thing about Matic is they actually have a faucet on the mainnet where they will give you some tokens to work with fees. So for example, you can head over to matic.supply, you can connect your wallet, and they will send you 0.0001 or four Matic tokens so that way you can do transactions. If that doesn't work, there's faucet.peerzap.com. There's a few others out there that you can Google, but these are the ones that I've used that I found that work really well. They will only send you Matic tokens if you don't have any Matic in your wallet, so please don't be greedy. So now that we have some Matic tokens and we have other tokens that we need to convert, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to quickswap.exchange. And this is where we are going to first get our DG tokens. So what I'm going to do is I have, for example, some Matic tokens. So it could be any other tokens that you want. And we're going to get DG. Now, please do not go from whatever token you're trying to convert directly into XDG or state DG. The liquidity on that is, is horrendous and I don't recommend it. We need to go through these steps. So in this example, I'm going to convert two Matics and this is going to get me about 13.89 DG. You might have to approve it, go ahead and approve it. The fees are again, really small. I'm gonna hit confirm. Now it's also important as you're doing this, you could also convert some of your ETH over to Matic. Again, make sure that you have some Matic in your MetaMask. And once that's done, you should see the balance of your DG pop up here. So right here we see 13.89. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take that DG and then convert that to XDG. Now what's really important to note that you need 1,000 of these tokens to participate in the mint. Now please keep in mind, it is not a one-to-one. -one. So for example, if I hit max the 13.89, I'm not going to get exactly 13.89. So it is wise for you to kind of overshoot that, get a little bit over 1,000, so that way when you do convert it to XDG, that it will give you at least 1,000. I'm going to approve. And then I'm going to go ahead and swap. Now, once that's done, if I do head back over here, I should see my, I'm gonna switch networks. I should see my DG move from here to staked DG or XDG, and it worked just fine. So now I do have over 1000, so I do qualify for the mint. Now, next is that you're going to need 8,000 ice to purchase the NFT. So we're going to go back here and we're going to do virtually the same thing. We're going to pick out the asset that we want. Let's not forget to switch back to our Polygon network here. So I'm going to convert two <clears throat> Matic over to some ice. So I should have a little bit more than um, 9241 after the swap. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit swap, <clears throat> confirm swap. So it says it's done. So I'm going to head over to my MetaMask, look at my assets. So I have some Matic, which is great. Have at least one if you can. Um, right here I have my stake DG. And then here I have my ice, which the value just changed. So these are the two things that I need 
for the mint tomorrow. So you're all set if you've gotten to this point. And one last thing, on the day of the mint, when you head over to decentral.game slash ice slash marketplace, it should take you here. And this is where you're going to connect your MetaMask. And when you're here, as you sign, make sure that you are on the Ethereum mainnet. And if you're not, it's going to ask you to switch over to the Ethereum mainnet. Now go ahead and do that. Even though your assets are on the Polygon mainnet, it will read it and you can spend out of it. So just for that, for clarity, and it might take a while to load, but also something to note is when you're in here and when you go to stake DG, you will notice that um, it says zero here. They are working on a UI update, so that way it will reflect the um, Matic network, but for now, not to worry. So make sure that you're on this page at the right time and good luck on your mint. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, bye.